noticed that she was out oh, traveling. Okay. So, so can, can you start out by, by telling people who you are, why you're here this week? Okay, well, my name is Martin Berger. I'm the director of Health Innovation in Practice. And uh, we've been following uh, the negotiations uh, since the time of the Commission and the GSPA, which is the focus of our work, actually, is trying to help countries to implement measures uh, so that uh, they um, uh, have uh, innovation and uh, R&D, which really is geared towards their own needs and results into improving their access to drugs and to health. What's your position on the uh, idea of an R&D treaty? Um, well, I'm, uh, we are not that dogmatic. What we believe is that there is a need for a mechanism for countries, uh, member state donors, whoever they are, to agree on uh, the, the financing of R&D and to agree to allocate these funds according to priorities which will be globally accepted and uh, which will be the result of a collective, collective exercise and negotiating process. And. Uh, uh, the, the format, I believe, and especially now with the, the um, um, positions taken by uh, various countries and regions, I, I believe that there are s several solutions which may be appropriate. Uh, probably, ultimately, the um, binding commitment is the most appropriate because it will be the one giving the power needed and the, the strength and, and the sustainability. But uh, that may take ages to, to get there. And in the meantime, I believe strongly that we can advance and make progress by uh, setting up uh, more voluntary mechanisms for people to get together and to decide, allocate their funds according to their decisions and monitor whether these funds are appropriately used according to the priorities. Do you have a, a position on the delinkage issue? Oh yes, sure. I think it should be delinked. I mean, for us it has always been clear, you need to delink the cost of R&D from the prices of drugs. Because the current system has proven for many years that it doesn't work to answer the needs of developing countries. Thank you.